Good afternoon, good morning. This is the Father's Love Letters series. I am Lisa Tierney. You are with me at God's Watchman Wall to the Nations, established now 13 years. So Watchman TV has been given a name. This is that. Okay, now we are looking at a new series. Uh, Mid-year last year, Father said, make a series on Made in his image so here we go these are written for flame radio and for here so will you share this broadcast with others so that they too can hear the heart of the father in love amen colossians 1 says for by him all things were created both in the heavens and on the earth visible and invisible whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities all things have been created through him jesus yeshua and for him jesus yeshua we looked at yeshua and its name and it means it means preserved to be whole it means salvation it comes from uh, the root word sozo uh, alongside sozo which is wholeness redeemed and knowing who we are in these end times is a must these are tumultuous times. We must know who we are and whose we are. That is the motto Holy Spirit gave to me a good few years ago. You see, identity is everything. And if we know who we are and whose we are, then we walk accordingly. And the light of God shines through. And it will change the atmosphere where you are. So we are hidden in Christ, sanctified, set apart, and we are a royal priesthood. Everything that was created was created through Yeshua, through Jesus, and it was for him. And that is where we as his ecclesia, the bride of Christ, come in. We were made in God's image. You will find that in the book of Genesis, meaning bear a sheet. That means the beginning. We must go back to the beginning and see what God said. And when he said it, he said it was good. Amen. And we were made in his image and likeness. So not only were we made physically into his image and our inner man, the three part being body, spirit, soul, but we were made in his likeness. That means that our character, our nature, everything about us is as the father. So have you really meditated and thought about this? How much are we re-radiating this to the world and to one another. The fruits of the spirit are meekness, kindness, love, long suffering, temperance, and all the other things. So are we radiating them? You see, God is a kind God. He is a thoughtful father. He is a father to the fatherless, and he is a father to us all. Do, so do we act like our father? Are we considerate and preferring one another? You can find a great example of that in Romans 12. You see, the Father preferred us when he sent his only son, Jesus Christ. He sent him to pay the penalty for our sins on the cross. And with that, we are now liberated. We are, our chains are broken. We are whole. We are redeemed. We are healed. And there are so many promises that he has made for us so that we can stand with a holy God set apart, forgiven, free, sanctified, righteous in position, but we need to walk in the righteousness of God also habitually. Now, these precious promises are yea and amen. We have Jesus, the high priest, who says yes and amen. And when we agree together in his name, he is in the midst of us. Daily, the Lord wants us to know and remember and remind ourselves and one another who we are and what his promises have provided for us so that we can function just as he created us to function. This world now has become so twisted 
and uh, the reverse. Remember the scripture that says we will call evil good and good evil. Well, we need to remain and abide, dwell, meno, Greek word meno, in the word of God and away from other things because now it's been distorted by the principalities and the powers of the air. You know that you are crowned, crowned upon high. That means that your identity is in Christ. For in Colossians 1, it says that these things were created. We were created for him, through him, and by him. That means that we have his very nature. God is a spirit. And God is love. And that love must be shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Spirit. When this is displayed, the Father is so pleased. Why? Because he's glorified. God is spirit. He is love. So this week, this week, see who you can love on. See who you can give a smile and encouragement to. Can you love on the unlovables, the ones who are not being kind to you? Can you love them? That's the true test of a Christian. That's the true walk of a Christian. It's easy, said Jesus, to love those who are kind to you, who have something to give you, or you can get something off. But can you walk in agape love? Can you love those who are being mean, who hate you, who revile you? You see, it's these things that the Lord of God Almighty performs because he is love. He's an inclusive God and he includes you today. So my question this week for us to ponder on is, do we truly know the price Jesus paid for us on the cross and that we are in that hidden and radiating his heart and his glory? Beloved, his spirit neutralizes the enemies around and about us. Will you receive that today? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you that we are made in your image and likeness. That means that not only do we look like you, but Father, that we walk like you, we talk like you, we radiate your nature, your character, and whatever grieves your heart grieves ours, Lord. And Father, whatever you see, we see. Whatever we hear, Lord, you hear, and vice versa. And whatever you say, we say. And we're quick to speak when you ask, Lord, but then we're quiet when you say be quiet. We stay in time with you and your kingdom in spirit at all times. The walk of the spirit, the walk of power. Thank you, Father, that we are crowned. Thank you for the identity that you have given to each one of us in and through and for you. And Father, may we walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to you, bearing fruit in every good work, steadily growing and increasing in and by the knowledge of God. And this I decree and declare in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, until next time you are listening to Lisa, this is the Father's Love Letter. Bye.